yo, 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 it's D Arthur in the building. I'm talking to you guys today about the raw attractive power all men have that women won't admit to feeling. Hell of a title. But what I am speaking about is your masculine energy times your verbal gain. This is the raw attractive power that all men have that women won't admit to feeling is your masculine energy plus your verbal plus your mouth. The bottom line is guys show their cards way too quickly. They're showing their cards too quickly. You have to realize your opinion is, is pretty important and you you have to be able to speak your opinion in a way where it may get her to think a little bit. You have to give off masculine energy and you just have to speak your mind. The worst thing, the one thing that she can't, that she is repulsed by is shy, passive, weak men. She can't stand this type of man. It's not making her feel anything. You, you need to use your mouth. You have to use your mouth and you have to use verbal game. This is the only way. Because if you're able to do this, then you can convey someone who actually has an opinion. And now she's going to start thinking about more of what you're saying. And that's going to make her feel, make her feel. But if you don't, if you just compliment her, without any without anything else you just compliment her that that's not going to make her feel anything this is why guys usually are not getting anywhere because they just they say things they feel as if they don't have enough value in them to to make themselves feel as if they're good enough so they have to overcompensate with other things they have to do all these other things to you know make up for the fact that they they might not be interesting enough by themselves this is how you have to look at it you have to be you have to realize that once you're able to make her feel things once you're once you built yourself up enough to actually be interesting and have a life and have an opinion on things because have an opinion on things because you're that interesting because we have to realize guys don't even have opinions on things because they just they don't do anything guys don't do anything they're just there they're, they're they don't have an opinion on things they don't have stand they don't stand for anything they fall for anything they get distracted really quickly they don't have any values goals desires dreams and stuff like that they're easily distracted by a lot of things. They're easily distracted by a lot of different things. This is not going to make you attractive. You have to. You have to stand for something. You have to find something that you're super intrigued about and you have to speak about it and you have to speak about it. You have to speak about it to her. Your opinion holds a lot of weight. She likes opinionated men. She likes someone who has an opinion on things. She likes someone who can tell her no. She likes the, the opinions that you give. You, you have to realize this. You have to realize this and you have to be able to de demonstrate these things in front of her. You have to you have to be saying you have to be able to say, no, I don't like this. I like this to her. This this can put you in a category, a, a different category. But a lot of majority of men are always just flattering her easily, not making her not making her wonder anything. And this is where, where, where they fall. So when you go on. And the the big problem, the reason why this is, is because guys are too boring. They don't have anything else going. They're not interesting enough. The, their their lives are pretty basic. They're bo they have boring lives. They don't have anything super interesting to to. They haven't challenged them. This also comes from being in their comfort zone. Guys are too much in their comfort zone. They haven't challenged themselves enough. And if you can't challenge yourself enough, you don't have a story to tell. You have to be able to tell a story. You have to be able to tell a story. All the interesting guys are the ones who are able to tell a story. You, you have to act like this. So the bottom line is once you retain, you have masculine energy and you have and you have the ability to speak things that you like, opinions that you like, the opinions that you don't like. She's more likely going to be drawn to you because you, you have a stance on something. She can put you in a category 
and you're making her feel something by the but by the words you're speaking. But if you're, like I said, if you're passive, not really, always, not don't like conflict. You don't have any tension. There's no tension between you and her. There's no tension in, in you. Then this also comes from fapping. You, you, you realize that semen retention is equals to tension, and since you have tension in you, there's going to be tension between you and her. But if you fapped all of that tension away, there's nothing for her. There's no tension between you. And it's going to be boring. You have to realize this. You have to realize this. So your opinion, what you stand for, your beliefs, and going after all these beliefs are what's what she's more likely going to be drawn to instead of you just being a passive guy who has who doesn't have any opinions and falls for anything you have to realize this this is where your power is your your power lies in your opinion your power lies in your opinion and you have to demonstrate these opinions every single day every single day you have to demonstrate something that you like than something that you don't like whether it's her behavior, whether it's anything, whether it's something with the world or anything like that, you have to be able to speak frequently about things that you like, things that you are passionate about. You, you have to be able to speak of these guys, but guys are too lazy. They don't, their lives are not as interesting as they can be. And this is why they come across as dull to her. This is, after, this is what you have to realize. You also have to realize that if you save up masculine energy, if you if you have a lot of masculine energy and you start acting out on this masculine energy, she's going demonstrating this masculine energy. She's going to be attracted to this. You have to realize that some guys know this. Some guys don't. The guys who know this are, are the ones who are getting ahead. The guys who don't are always wondering why you have to be able to speak, speak your mind. You have to be. This is how she's going to get attracted to you. You have a you have a raw masculine presence and energy about you that she is naturally drawn to you. Guys don't think they have any value. They, they don't think they they don't have any anything to offer her, and so they have to overcompensate by over validating her twenty four seven. She's not feeling anything, and things are not things aren't going anywhere. You have to be able no you, you might you have to be able to speak on a lot of things maybe how she looks maybe what you don't like you just have to speak on things you have to be able to speak on something your opinion actually holds matters a lot more if you're too afraid to speak about things you're going to get left behind i promise you this if you if you're over validating her too easily without her having to do anything it's not going to end well for you it's not going to end well for you you have to you you might have to look you might have to realize you have to speak to her as a way like sure she's doing some things good but there's also some things that she may not be doing as well that you don't like this is where you have to put your stance on and the thing is you have to be able to be a walk you have to be able to walk away because if you're if you don't walk away and she thinks then she has you you have to be able to walk away you have to be able to but you have to be detached whether that's why you being detached is better because if you're attached you're more afraid to say something because you think you have something to lose but if you're detached you can speak freely and she's actually going to be more drawn to you if that may and this also comes down from you know having more of an interesting life itself and taking care of yourself and prioritizing yourself in the best light with that being said i am coaching i am doing a service-based business where i am coaching you with you one-on-one -on -one. we're gonna have a one-on-one -on -one conversation we're gonna have a an eight-week coaching program to help you get from a to b in maybe your dating life your masculinity even your physique also if you're if you're interested in having more of a you know in a in a physique where you're able to get choosing signals more attraction from women just based off your body game and how you how you look i can help you with that make sure you book a call down below we will see you later